Hi, this is Brett with Piano Aha, and today we want to talk about a good method of recognizing an octave quickly in written music. So let's look at some examples. I want to know whether this is an octave or not. Now the first thing that's good to know is that octave just comes from a Latin word meaning the eighth. So if you think of the other intervals that you know, a fifth and a sixth and a seventh, etc., the logical next step would be an eighth, right? We just call that an octave for reasons unknown to man that we have to suddenly switch to Latin. So, octave meaning eighth means I just need to count the number of lines and spaces that I need to get from the one note to the other. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is indeed an octave. Now, counting in that way from one to eight, so eight being eighth like octave or octopus with eight legs will always get you the right answer but perhaps not as quickly as you might need when you're reading music. So we need a more visual method of recognizing whether something is an octave. If we look at our example here we have one note on a line and one note on a space. And it turns out that will always be the case for an octave. So that's the one thing you need to remember. The other is, if we just count the number of lines in between these two notes, so one, two, three, so I'm not counting the line that, that this note is on, right? Just the ones that are actually between those two notes, then I come up with an answer of three. So if I have notes on a line and a space, and I have three lines between, I'll always have an octave. So let's see if this is an octave. I have a note on a line, and I have a note on a space, and I have one, two, three lines between. So that must be an octave. Now here, I have one note on a line, this time it's the upper note, and one on a space, and I have one, two, three lines between, again, that must be an octave. What about this here? We have one note on a line, one note on a space, so it's looking good, but we only have two lines between, so this is not an octave. And here, we do indeed have three lines between, but they're both on spaces, so that again is not an octave. And with time, You'll be able to see this at a glance. You don't actually have to count these three. You'll be able to recognize that this, for example, just looks too small to be an octave. So we'll continue here. This example is nice because it would be great if we did not have to actually read this low note with so many ledger lines. So if we can see that this note is on a line and this is on a space and that there are three lines between, then we really do not need to read this note. If we know what this note is, then this note must be the same. So if this is an E, for example, then this must also be an E, since that's an octave. And the same goes for this example here. We have one line, one space, and three lines between. So that must be an octave. So we see that an octave just means an eighth, which means that we just need to count the lines and spaces between the two notes, but that much more quickly is to look and see that one note's on a line, one's on a space, or of course one's on a space and one's on a line, and that there are three lines between them. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video.